Hi, I'm Jason Edmond. And I'm Ashley Victoria Robinson. Welcome to DC TV Recap, the magical show where we talk about DC TV shows that involve magic, especially the ones called Legends of Tomorrow. But before we get to Legends of Tomorrow, uh, there's a little magical event that happens every single year in San Diego, California. Yes, that's right, in San Diego, California, not San Diego, Tibet. I know you might be confused, but it's San Diego, California. Uh, that's called San Diego Comic Con, and we're going to be there. Woo! And if you watch this video, you watch any of our videos, guys, we want to meet you. We want to say hi to you. We want to say thank you for watching. We're going to be there on Saturday, July 21st at San Diego Comic-Con. We're going to be at booth 1735. That's the Action Lab booth from noon to 2.30 p.m. We're going to be signing our comic book, Jupiter Jet. You can buy Jupiter Jet from us, or you can just come up and talk and say howdy. Say I think your Supergirl reviews suck. Whatever you want to say, just come by, say hi. We want to meet you. We want to find out who the real people back there are. Also, we're going to have another signing. So in case you can't make it there from noon to 2.30, we're going to be at the Geek, Geekscape, excuse me, the Geekscape booth. That's 3919 from 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. So come by there, get some Geek History Lesson pins, say hi. We want to meet you. If you're going to be at San Diego yes. Comic-Con, please say hi, and we're going to have plenty of copies of Jupiter Jet. So if you've been, like, you know, putting down in the comments, be like, I want to read Jupiter Jet, and Amazon's too confusing. Well, we'll literally hand you a copy if you buy it at San Diego Comic-Con. We'll see you Saturday. Excuse me, Saturday, July 21st. I get a little excited about this stuff. Let's talk about magic stuff. Yeah, let's. Well, Light of the tomorrow. First, we're going to talk about some casting. Season four. Same as Supergirl. Yep, so uh, we're walking into the season real quick. We have Matt Ryan, finally, as a full-on cast member. Effing, finally, finally, they brought him onto one of these shows. Uh, we talked about this several times. If you would have told me in Legends of Tomorrow season one that we would have Matt Ryan as a full-time cast member, I would have called you crazy. Oh, yeah, totally. I would have said it'll never happen. But we have that, and apparently fighting Malice, Malice, however you want to say his name, opened up some sort of riff, and we got demons coming out. Let's talk about this. So, uh, Maisie Richardson Sellers. Who's that? Who you may know as Vixen. Oh, cool. Uh, has confirmed that she is coming back as a full-time cast member. Be, 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 so, mm, that, mm, that scene mm, at the mm. end was complete BS. Wait a minute. Wait, mm, wait a minute, Ashley. I'm putting on my nerd glasses. Uh -huh. Um... We, she said that she cannot come back because she would not come back to ruin the time stream. Well, she lied. It's cool. She's very nice. Hopefully she comes back and actually like her. literally marries anyone other than Nate. Nah, That's happen. all that I'm hoping for in it'll Legends happen. Season 4. She must just like the show so much and they must like her, so it's just like, who cares? I think so, too. I, I, wonder, I, why, I did like they, why did they end her storyline, then? Who uh, cares? Uh, um, my guess contract negotiations? would be that her contract wasn't uh, all uh, wrapped up there. It's probably and, right. uh, now it is. Or it's maybe right. she booked something else and she's only going to be appearing. Maybe she's not in the pile, the first sure. episode or something. Cool. But I think that's what it is. Yeah, uh, Matt, I'm glad. Matt Ryan, like Jason said, Constantine is joining the series regular. That's right. To, quote, uh, tackle fugitive magical threats, end quote, that are literally called fugitives. Because that's not an all-encompassing term that could mean literally anything. That's right. The fugitives from around time left. Uh, the cool thing we is gotta that... we got to do a thing. I'm Constantine. Not only is Constantine yes. joining the show full-time, but Ava's joining the show full-time. Who? Uh, she's uh, Sarah's girlfriend. I almost had something really rude. Oh, yes. Yeah, so the bird that I'm going to shag this season. Yeah. The... the... <laughs> I am just not going to go there. Uh, so they're, <laughs> they're, she is joining the team because they're going to tackle a, quote, even bigger anachronism, quote, than they've ever tackled before, created by their antics last now, season. Now, um, you may be talking about this later in the video, but I did read a thing where one of the writers or one of the EPs was talking about what we could expect to see in Legends Season 4, and they said that we wanted to, they wanted to see more of the Time Bureau. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, um, cool. I wasn't going to bring that up in particular, but that's why she's coming on to the ship full time is because they've screwed up even worse than ever before. Yeah. Uh, history in the entire time stream is now infected with creatures from, quote, myths, fairy tales, and legends, end quotes. And one of these is going to be this all-encompassing big anachronism, so maybe they're going to fight Dracula or something like Ooh. that, who's actually a vampire. Okay, I'm going to say this right there. I really, really like this idea. Mm -hmm. I think it's really cool. I think the idea that vampires and mummies and Draculas and, and Frankensteins and going through time, I, at first I was a little skeptical of Constantine being part of this show uh -huh. because I was like, what are you, how are you gonna make Constantine gel with a sci-fi show? But doing that, you get the best of both worlds. Mm. Do you think a classical monster from, th that basically all of society knows, 
is going to be the big villain. Like, do you think it's going to be a Dracula? I do. You think I it's going to be actually Dracula? Uh, maybe. Well, okay. they also said like fairy tales and myths and legends. Interesting. So that makes me wonder: A, are we going to actually get a return to Themyscira, and are we maybe going to see a Hera figure or like a Greek the god Greek gods? Or goddess? Okay. I think that would be really cool. Interesting. But also, could we finally be getting the Legends of Tomorrow and Fables crossover that nobody asked for? <laughs> you know, uh, Medusa would be an interesting uh, season-long villain. Also. Morgan. Uh, the Gorgon. Um, Dracula would be a good season-long villain. I'm trying to think about other mythological characters. Um, Ares would be... No, they probably won't do Ares because of the movie. No. Hades would Hades be an interesting would choice. Zeus would be great. Hey, Zeus would be... Oh, man. I'm trying to think about, like, monster monsters. The Kraken? Or is the Kraken too much like ma Malice? No, because the Kraken's a sea creature. I think whoever they do uh, as the villain sort of has to be... Uh, personified all of Vandal Savage in the Legion of Doom. Uh -huh. I don't think you can have this demon bat creature show up in the last episode again. I don't think they should do that. It needs to be a creature that you can talk to. I would also love if it was something maybe like... Um I would love it if we went outside of European mythology. Like, mm. let's see a djinn or like a Ooh, genie. Ooh, a genie would um, be great. Because then you could have them if they're magical. And even if it's kind of like an Aladdin level genie, they still have a human form. So you still have an actor to show up every episode, but then they could morph into the big bad whatever for the big fight at the end. Can I can I give yes. you a pitch? Yes. Okay, I don't know if it's, I think this would be amazing. I'm, I'm a DC executive. Um, Anubis. Great. The Egyptian god of uh, death. Death, yeah. Yeah. King of the underworld. Well, we the... see onks mm -hmm. and all kinds of other Egyptian symbology. Yeah, it's also a big part of like modern witchcraft practices incorporate onks. They're pretty universal. Constantine used onks and other things like that mm -hmm. in the Constantine show. He's done it on Legends of Tomorrow. Also, if you do Anubis, that means that we can have a one episode arc with two hawked creatures. And bring them let's back. Let's not. Let's just. Let's at least bring back Fall, Kenchel. Sure. We can bring back Hawkman. Hawk Hawkman. Hawkman can come back. Hawk We're going to forget Hawk Girl. Although, if we bring back Hawk, Hawk Girl. No. Um, if we bring back Hawk Girl, we're going to set up a plot line. <sighs> well, Constantine makes that bird sing. Nah. But I'm fun. She's going to go sleep with Ray. Again. I was set up that joke for like three minutes. And, and I know it's terrible. <laughs> I don't care. It's my channel. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Um, my other, the other uh, fan theory that I've seen going around is will Van Helsing show up as a one or two episode arc? That's an interesting pitch. Van like Helsing, that. arguably a real person. I do, I do. <laughs> man, I don't know. Like Anubis is a good choice, but I, I have a pretty. Yeah, they probably will go Dracula. It probably um, make, it makes the most sense. Also, the official press release that announced this made three jokes about Ghostbusters. So I think that's the tone we're going to go for. And because they do love to throw back to movies that everybody loves and knows too much about, and they do love to throw back to the 80s, I'm betting we get a Ghostbusters montage or Ghostbusters-esque montage oh, in there, one of these. There, where they're chasing ghosts around a mansion or something there like that. Will be an Ray tries to build the trap. There will be an episode, yeah, where it's all Ghostbuster homages. And then Nate's going to come out from a door and like with no expression and no real delivery, just be like, I ain't afraid of no ghosts. Like that's gonna be, or I don't no, know if give go, it that that'll go give that it far. To, give it to Mick. Let Mick say it if you're gonna do that. You yeah. can have that one for free. Somebody's gonna get slimed. Oh yeah, the ect someone's gonna get ectoplasm. And there'll be an exorcist joke where something's walking down the stairs. Mm -hmm. I'm fine with that. Let's go, Ghostbusters. Let's do it all. Um, so we think the villain's gonna be Dracula, right? That's yeah, what, that's what yeah, this conversation is. We think is. the villain's gonna be a Dracula. I, although I, I'm, I'm pretty excited about my Anubis pitch, though. I think that's a great. What pitch. What do you want to see in Legend season four? Like, I, what do you really want to dig and see? I really would love to see Nate die. I think that would be a great uh, <laughs> okay. service to the pull show. Pull back, pull back. What What's the actor's name? What's his name? Uh, Nick. Nick Dano Zano Zano. I don't. I I truly Nick, don't know. Uh, I know you watch. Um, I met you in person once. Uh, was he were, nice? He was. He, he was tall. He's taller than me. Actually, he was very surprising. Um, that's how Katie I, Lotz taller than you? No, but <laughs> Katie Lotz is a lovely human being. Um, so Nick Zano, I think. I don't know. Um, we apologize. We know you watch the show. I know. Um, <laughs> besides, look, don't don't let Ashley get you down. Besides just killing Nate, we all know you love it, Nate. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna sign you up for the uh, Nate, the Nick Zano fan club. Uh, just, uh, by the way, direct box comes to your mu uh, your door every so just month. Just his dumb haircut yeah. on the side of the box. It's it's just it's Polaroids. The box it's a it's it's a six foot by five foot box. Six foot by five foot. Yeah. It's a refrigerator sized box that only has one Polaroid in it. 
And it's just like it's like him it's him doing a Polaroid selfie, so it's like like that. And then it all he all he does is he signs, Hey, thanks. That's all that's all it's on there. Best stuff. No, hey. Um, thanks. All right, so get out of the Nick Zano with hate or <laughs> whatever his last name is. I just think that the show would like reach peak legend. Cool, we get that. You want to kill a living human being, that, that actor that has a job. I don't want to kill him. I just want, you want, I want that his actor job to go away. To be poor. Yes. Um, so uh, I don't. I apologize. Um, I really would love. What do you want to see? I would love to see some of the classic Hellblazer mythology or yeah. stories worked into um, any, literally anything that they're doing. Um, the Constantine show did a poor job at that. Yeah. We got a couple names and really no. Like, I would love to see Zed. Um, it could even be the same actress. She was fine. I want Chaz Done back. right. Yeah, do Chaz. I want Chaz. Uh, do the creepy demon that infects everyone with bugs from the very first mm-hmm. arc. Like, there's a lot of cool stuff. There's fairies that show up in Constantine that I think... Um, I think could give an edge to the show and a darkness to the show that I think they've been striving for, yeah. but they've been incapable of solidifying. And a character like Constantine lets you be a little uh, edgy, if we want to use buzzwords like that. I want, I want to see Constantine used to his full potential instead of just an addition to the cast. Yeah. That's really what I would like to see. In, any, sorry. I, I was going to say, in a perfect world for me, they would do what you talked about, and we would restart Constantine on the CW. Yes. After Legends. Yeah, Legends like, is like, we're setting the foundation for whatever Constantine's going to do next. Because let's be real, there's no way he sticks around for more than a season. No, it's just a season. Yeah, and he's going to sleep with... He's uh, not a team player. I would love if he also... They'll never do this. That's This is too edgy, but I would love it if he just made his way through the cast members. Like, every sort of every episode, he wakes up in someone else's room. You know the one person that he needs to sleep with? The one person? The one person? Yeah. Ray? No. <laughs> He needs to sleep with uh, Rory. Oh my God! Yeah, <laughs> I'd love it. Mm. And then Rory can write yeah. it in his uh, erotic book that he's. Well, writing. he's got pretty hair. He does have pretty hair. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I get lonely. <laughs> Sometimes. All the time. You can. He can. Look. Probably... <laughs> I was a partner with. Uh, he can probably commune with uh, Leonard. I was a partner with Leonard. Yeah, a partner in every sense of the word. Yes. He's Captain Cold. He got cold. <laughs> He brought the you cold. You warmed him up? We called ourselves Icy Hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's the one, if you're going to blow up people's expectations, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's the one to do it with. Absolutely. I think it'd be great. Because everybody expects it to be Ray. Yeah, yeah. But I just think... I think that's an aspect of Constantine that they won't lean into that hard. No, it'll just but be... I think it'll, it would be funny. It'll be like off-screen Gary stuff. Yeah, yeah, His yeah. bisexuality. Oh, God. Gary, God bless. May yeah. Gary show up in many episodes. I hope uh, Gary's in this show quite a bit. I hope so too. I hope he's the Jimmy Olsen of the season. He's like uh, he's like Ava's connection back sure. to great. 100%. More Gary is 100%. basically what this all. I, I'll, I'll tell you to. what. This season of Legends of Tomorrow has the potential to be the best season of Legends of Tomorrow, just yeah. because of Matt Ryan, mm-hmm. because of that secret sauce right on top. It, it you know, it, it's to me, and if you're an old school genre television person like I am, it's like Spike joining Angel. Mm -hmm. So Spike was the best character from Buffy the Vampire Slayer. James Marsters was an amazing actor. And putting him in Angel, which was already a good show in season three and season four, it was already a good show. And then putting Spike in there made it the best season of anything Buffyverse ever. So I'm kind of hoping that Matt Ryan coming into the show that's already good makes it I mean, there's a possibility if they pull this off mm-hmm. that this is the best Arrowverse season. I would love nothing more. I also think it's interesting that you went for the Spike metaphor instead of the Worf metaphor. Is that because he's blonde? No, it's just, it's just because Angel season, that too, well, also sort of an English person. <laughs> sure. But sure. Angel season five is the best season of any of the Buffyverse. Deal with it. So get out of the comments. Uh, tell us some of your thoughts about Legends of Tomorrow Season 4. While you're down there, click subscribe. And for more exclusive geeky content, check out patreon.com slash gentlemen. Come join us in the Hall of Justice and be a super friend. Thanks for watching. <laughs>